So Mark and I sat down and we wrote this song and um, we went and demoed it and it was right at the last second. I mean, it was, I mean, the 11th hour plus. Uh, matter of fact, we didn't take the demo in to play Tony Brown, who was cutting the uh, Greatest Hits album. We took it in the day that they were recording. We walked in, Mark had it in his hand. <clears throat> And he said, Tony, he said, the Roger and I wrote another song that we want to play for you. And maybe, I, he said, I, maybe we could cut this one instead of the other tempo. And I just sat down on the couch and tried to become invisible. I really didn't even want to be there. But I was there. And so he put the, uh, Tony Brown put the, this song in the, in the uh, player there and he played it. And when it got done, Tony said, nah, I like the other one better. And I've just wilted, you know. I wanted, uh, I said, well, that's the end of that. And so they went in and they started recording this other song and they cut it and they cut it and they cut it. About two hours they played it. Finally, Mark come out of the uh, booth and there where he was singing and he told Tony, he said, you know, that song's just not feeling good to me. And Tony said, well, let's cut it. It's a little too late. So that's how this song come to be. And uh, it was my first number one as a songwriter. And then Steve and I had the second single that was a hit. It was a top five hit. I think. And so, anyway, this is a little too late. And I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much. It means so much to me to see y'all here. I love all of y'all. So. Thank you very much. Thank all of y'all for coming. Thank you. <laughs>